do. Hi, it's Tuesday. Good morning. The name of the game today is we are going to be drawing. Um, I need to make my Patreon printable and I am real rusty when it comes to drawing. It's just been hard to make stuff lately. Oh, hello, Soph. Do you want to come hang out? Do you want to say hello? Come. You can make it. You're drawing a full chair closer. No, I didn't need it. Honey, come here. Boop. Hi. Um, so, as I was saying, the name of the game today is hopefully going to be drawing and making stuff. I've had a hard time doing that lately, and so I'm going to be um, getting back into that. Yesterday I was, so this weekend I was going to make sourdough. I like started recording footage for it and everything, but I made my Levain a little too late in the morning. A Levain is, um, I'm also, I'm also realizing that I'm doing a lot of vocal fry because I just woke up. So I'm trying to like talk in a higher register. <laughs> um, a Levain is essentially like, uh, it's an offshoot of your starter where you put like a little bit of your starter with like flour and water to make it into a um, thing that you can use in your bread. So, <gasps> Connor's awake. Ahoy. Ahoy, mateys. He's been playing a lot of Sea of Thieves. So, he's been a pirate on the high seas. I started my Levain too late, and then um, I didn't feel like shaping, uh, shaping um, bulls or rounds at like 10 p.m. so I just ended up not making sourdough this week but I did make biscotti yesterday um, so I'm excited to have that with tea this afternoon and then um, uh, I'm gonna be actually dropping off some biscotti to Zoe as well yeah and then the name of the game today is just drawing lots and lots of drawing it's probably not gonna go well but by golly gosh darn it we're gonna do our best so, uh, let, uh, here's hoping. to take this little drawing moment to say thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning platform filled with thousands of classes designed to help you unlock your creativity and curiosity. They have videos on pretty much anything you could ever want to learn, like digital art, pottery, time management, pattern making, embroidery, watercolor, 
uh, you name it. They actually have a lot of classes on um, Procreate as well if you've been sort of wanting to figure out how to use this program properly. <laughs> I know a couple videos ago I mentioned Andy J. Pizza's first Skillshare class, which was all about making a thriving creative side hustle, but he recently released a new course, which I am so excited about, and it's called Find Your Style, Five Exercises to Unlock Your Creative Identity. I've been having um, a bit of a creative professional turmoil moment as of late. So I'm very excited to take this course and figure out a more like solidified idea of who I am and who I want to be as an artist. If you are interested in giving Skillshare a go, for a limited time, you can use the link in the description for a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. And after that trial ends, it's only $10 a month with an annual subscription. So go forth and make stuff. And thank you again to Skillshare. a little odd, doesn't it? What if I just crouch like this? No, that also feels strange. Okay, hang on. There we go. Hi! Uh, happy Wednesday! Uh, so I didn't realize yesterday while I was drawing on the couch, but my um, memory card ran out. So I drew... I'm gonna move over for this, but I drew these guys uh, yesterday, and they did very, very well on Twitter and Instagram, and they're very fun for me to draw. So I'm going to be drawing more of those for my uh, Patreon printable that I'm excited about. So we'll be doing that later this afternoon, but this morning we're going to be packing orders, as you can see. So I'm going to be doing this for a couple hours, process those, and then I'm um, going to be drawing. I'll get to work now, I suppose.
again. Hi, it's voiceover Cheyenne. I'm happy to, well, not see you, but you know what I mean. Hi, so this is um, some footage of me drawing my sweet little mushroom buds. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I've been, um, I've been kind of going through it lately, uh, the state of the world notwithstanding. I've been sort of going through some things in my sort of, you know, inner emotional life that frankly has made creating things really difficult. And um, drawing these little mushroom friends and them being so well received was kind of a huge relief. I know I talked about this in my last painting video as well, but um, I'm just feeling really insecure and really like weird about my art because I feel like I'm going through a pretty significant style change and I don't know where I want it to go and um, like I'm just sort of just a little bit lost so making these mushroom guys where I just kind of got to lean into the fun of them and sort of their bendiness and focus on the gesture of like the gesture and feeling of their bodies without having to get um, wrapped up in the preciseness of their anatomy was super freeing. Also, you know, tis the season for mushrooms. And they're a little bit spooky. They're a little bit cute. And I really, really like them. Some people were saying that they look kind of like, um, they look kind of like little beings wearing mushrooms. Like, and then another person was saying that like, oh, they look, because at one point I drew one of them a little more consumed by darkness. And it's like, oh, that's, that's uh, a mushroom folk that has spent too long wandering alone. And I was like, ooh, I like this lore we're building. So I'm a really big fan of these. The only two brushes that I used with these. Oh, hello? I think, I think Sophie just sneezed. I just, <laughs> I just heard a tiny, <laughs> just, oh, what is that? Hello? Yes, okay, that was Sophie. Jeez Louise, that was indeed Sophie sneezing in her little tiny igloo bed. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I was saying that the only two um, brushes I'm using in, in um, this entire printable, both of which are Procreate like standards, they come with Procreate, are um, the tactical pencil and the gouache brush. And um, yeah, those are the only two brushes that I use to make this whole piece, which is pretty neat, IMO. Um, I'm also, I'm currently recording this voiceover while I'm lying on my bedroom floor and I'm lying on my stomach with like my head in my hands and I feel like, oh, I also just hit my wardrobe door, but I, I feel like we're on the floor and like we're having a sleepover and we're just, we're just chatting. We're just gossiping about everything that's going on. Um, but yeah, also I'm, uh, so I didn't realize until I looked back at the footage, but, um, there were like large chunks of the drawing that were out of focus. So like, unfortunately, the whole sketching of this little two headed mushroom guy who is my favorite was out of focus. So I just you couldn't see anything. And so I had to cut it. Um, I'm still still learning how to navigate the workings of this new camera. Um, yeah, this little two headed dude was defo my fave. Um, leave. Actually, I would love to know which one's your favorite. You know, tag yourself. Um, I also saw someone on uh, Instagram was saying that like the top three look very kind of polite, which I also like. I like that. I like that fiction. I like that. <laughs> I'm a fan of that. Um, sort of, again, lore. Um, but yeah, how y'all been? What's been happening? Um, 2020 is a year, ain't it? Uh, basically I've just been, um, I've sort of temporarily partially closed up my online shop. I'm just offering, um, I'm currently just offering digital products because that, um, emotional inner turmoil stuff that I mentioned earlier has recently been, um, manifesting physically. I can't remember if I talked about this in the video already or not, but, um, yeah, so I've, it, I've just been trying to like chill for a hot mo. Um, and I, as a result, I've been playing a lot of video games. I've been listening to the Magnus archives. Um, and that's pretty much it. I just, I'm about to finish Spiritfarer, 
on the Nintendo Switch, which is very good. I played it on stream over the weekend and I cried my eyes out live in front of a bunch of people, which was cool and fun. <laughs> I cried so much. I wasn't expecting to cry so much, but I cried a bunch. Um, but I'm almost finishing that. And then I also just bought Hades, which I'm, which is so fun. It is so fun and very difficult and unlike any game that I've ever played. And I love the art and the voice acting and it's just so delicious for my eyeballs. Uh, so I'm playing Hades and then um, Connor's been playing Dark Souls and Sea of Thieves. And uh, I'm also really excited about the Mario All-Stars that's coming out, I think, today. So I'm excited to be able to play like Super Mario Sunshine again and all that stuff. So. I've just been playing lots of video games and resting a bunch and sort of like trying to do kind of, like I said, like half work days. Um, just really hardcore listening to my body. I've been reading about mindfulness um, by, uh, oh goodness gracious, how do you pronounce his name? Um, Thich Nhat Han, I believe. He's a Vietnamese monk. He's written loads of books about like mindfulness and meditation and things. And, um... I'm reading his book on the miracle of mindfulness, and it's really incredible. It's um, it's been doing, it's been doing a lot for me, and just sort of helping me not get swept up in my kind of tidal wave of worry that I often am prone to getting lost in. I also have a homework assignment from therapy where I need to take all like the different aspects of myself, so like my anxiety, my depression, my inner child, my like guilt, shame, all these different emotions that like crop up for me at different times during the day in different situations. Um, I need to take all of those feelings and like create them as little characters and like figure out where they reside inside of my body. So I'm going to be doing that kind of homework assignment this weekend as well. Um, I am nervous and excited about it because it's always kind of nerve wracking to examine yourself and like, um, you know, it, it's always kind of scary to look at the parts of yourself that you don't like or that you're embarrassed about, but it's important in order to learn how to grow. So, um, I'm like, I'm trying to psych myself up for that. Also this morning, I also hope you don't, I, we're just catching up. I'm just letting you know what's been going on. Um, while I draw my little mushroom friends, I have to, I, again, these were, I'm really a big fan of like, line work right now and so I'm loving like textures and stuff and the gouache brush is great because it's so pressure sensitive and so it's really easy to sort of like play around with the density of the stuff. Um, this is the character where I tried my hand at making them look particularly haunted and so I just ended up making like the whole top of their half like like the whole top half of their head shadow and shading that and I think it leaned a little bit too far into like the eerie creepy factor and so in the final version I just keep their mask like everybody else's because I was like we don't want to get a little too a little too creepy crawly for this printable um but this morning I made a pot of chai which I was very happy about I like bought a mortar and pestle and I ground up all my spices and stuff and I got some like fancy Assam tea that I could put in there so um, I don't think my milk was hot enough because the color of the chai was not quite as um, luscious as I wanted it to be, but it was still very yummy. Um, the weather is finally starting to cool down here, and so I'm looking forward to um, indulging in more fall-themed things. Um, and yeah, I made, made some chai and just been playing a bunch of video games and trying to draw again. So... Um, Things have been, things have been pretty low key in the Barton Miller household, is all all things considered.
think that when it came to coloring these mushrooms, not overthinking it was kind of ideal. I mean, that was sort of the idea behind the whole entire drawing, was just like trying not to overthink things. So, um, I just kind of went with my gut and like making the hands and the feet darker and having that sort of fade into the main body, um, along with like the shading on the mushroom caps and like certain areas where like the little mushrooms meet the main body. A lot of this was just me. I'm trying, so I'm seeking a lot more like whimsy in my work. And um, as a result, I'm, I'm trying really hard, um, like in my sketches and everything to not get caught up in like things looking exactly right. And I want to play around more with like proportions and gesture and stuff like that. And so I think these little mushroom guys were super useful for me in that way and just helping me kind of get out of my head and like focus on the feeling of the thing. Um, I think that's probably why I like the the two-headed mushroom and then the top left, the like, um, the like round sort of like uh, dotted cap mushroom guy who's kind of like leaning over and like clutching his face. Um, I really like those because I feel like they're kind of body language says a lot about them. Um, yeah, so I, w I, when in doubt, draw beings that just don't have to pay attention to any kind of rules of the world. Um, I've been particularly inspired by, uh, Jamie Green lately. They are also here on, um, whatchamacallit, they're also here on YouTube, and, um, their work is just like, Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. I I just keep going back to it. It has this like th this incredible texture and whimsy and uh, th th their compositions and like their use of color. It, it's incredible. I've just been um just like drinking up their Patreon posts and stuff. So, um I'm sort of trying to, I'm like looking at these artists that I love and that I admire and I'm trying to be very specific about what it is that I admire in their work and like try and um, emulate that in my own work and hopefully that will keep leading me in the right direction. I also liked adding these little dots on their faces because it made this particular mushroom fella made them feel like a little kid, kind of like little freckles on their face, which I really liked. Um, also, you know, they're the they're the smallest one, and so I think it felt right that they had more of like a childlike energy to them. Um, they're so cute with the little daffodil, but that's those are my those are my mushroom friends. Um, this is my Patreon. This is my September Patreon printable. So um, if you want to snag it. You can join my Patreon. It's only $2 a month for like printables like this and uh, joining actually gets you the access to the whole backlog of printables if you're interested. No pressure though either way. Um, I'm so happy with how they turned out. I love them. They're so friend shaped and mysterious and strange. Yeah, top left and bottom right are definitely my faves, personally speaking. Um, yeah, oh they're so cute. But that is, oh, my ankle just cracked. Um, that's the video that I, that's that's the whole kit and caboodle, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed kind of drawing with me, chatting with me, hanging out. Um, I hope that you're doing all right. I know that stuff is weird, but um, you, at the very least, are wonderful. So, um, there's that. Uh, I love you to bits and pieces. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Um, I hope that you have a beautiful uh, weekend or afternoon or weekday or whenever it is that you're watching this. I hope it is absolutely lovely. And um, I will see you soon. I'll see you when I see you. Okay? I love you. Bye! <laughs>